Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a love connection reading session for you Capricorn. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. This reading for today Capricorn is the next 24 hours love connection message for the sign of Capricorn, okay? I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. I want to welcome back my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and amazing support. And for guest viewers, if you're interested, if you're keen, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell. All right? So this is for you guys. What is the message for Capricorn over the next 24 hours? Okay? In their love, romantic, relationship, dating, or getting to know. All right, here you go. So in today's reading, I'm going to be looking at your energy, Capricorn. All right, start with your energy, blockages, feelings towards your person, and predictive advice over the next 24 hours, okay? And your person's, um, um, your person's overall energy, feelings, and blockages, and their predictive um predictive their move towards you over the next 24 hours okay so let's start your reading my friends um the first card here is the eight of cups in reverse this is your overall energy you next to this is the knight of cups you have so much love or admiration or feelings or i like the knight of cups because this is sincere and it's next to the eight of cups so for some of you you have withdraw, you have pull away, and then for some of you, you have retreat. And then you went back into circle, some sort of 360, and then here you are again. You want to take back what you said. You don't mean what you said. Um, you love this person, or you like this person, or you admire this person, or you miss this person. And um, you would like to take back what you said. You don't mean what you said. You're probably upset. You try to move on, but the feelings, the affections, um, the admiration you have for this person is quite strong because you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. You walked away. You surrender. You have declared, I don't want you. I don't like you. This is it. This is the end. Goodbye. And then for the next 24 hours, maybe you're missing them. Um, maybe you re you regret your move or you regret what you say, but there's a longing attached in the Knight of Cups. You long to go back. You long to be with this person again. For some of you, it's an actual communication. It's an actual action that you're showing this person that I want you back. I miss you. I didn't mean what I said. If if you're not saying this verbally, this is what you feel inside is that you want to go back. You want to if given a chance that you could bring, you know, bring the, the time back, you would like to express your apology. You would like to show them how sincere you are. Like you would like your person to see you as the Knight of Cups. That, you know, I am a person who is just loving you, who is just wanting your attention and affection. And you aren't giving that to me. So I had my um, meltdown. <laughs> I walk away, but now I want to go back. I want to reinstate my promise of love to you, okay? The Knight of Cups is next to the Moon card, okay? You're not sure or you're not being... They're not listening to you, um, the Moon card. They're not listening to you or they're, make, they're making you wait. And you're not sure what's the outcome. You're not feeling great about... Um, it's more of you're not confident that you would get a reply, a respond, or you would get that back, okay? I'm getting the word you're not sure about, you would get that back. Whatever you put out you put out there as a feelings, as an intention, as a communication, you have worries and fears that you won't get that back or they won't match this nine of cups okay that's that's the risk you know when you give out something and you put an ex you put an expectation outcome that is where you create fear okay that is where you create fear and anxiety frustration when you put an ex you when you put an expectation that is where you started to um you started to expect what is the outcome. And because we don't have control with the mind, the heart, the reaction of the other person, they don't react the way you want it to be, then that's where you get frustrated and anxiety. Um, 
impatient and so on and so forth. So you're, you're, you have that fear of being rejected, of being not taken serious, seriously or taken for granted. Because I have a vibe, I get a vibe in here that, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to be taken seriously and this time around you want to really express something you want them to pay attention with you okay and you fear that if you express this wholeheartedly that you will be rejected okay you want them to be at the same page with you but that expectation that you build that is something that you could that you you might break your own heart okay and then you've got a six of swords so you're build <clears throat> excuse me you're building that moment in your mind that if i don't get this back if i get rejected if you know the if 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 else analysis if what analysis that if i don't get a reply if he or she didn't pay attention with me then i'm just gonna move on so you're giving yourself your expectation and the answer okay you're kind of you have a plan your plan is if it didn't, if 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 it doesn't work i'll move on if I don't get it back, then um, this is my next plan. Six of Swords. I want to I wanna move on. You want to move on with them, but right now you're still here in the moon, okay? You aren't sure whether you're going to be accepted or you're not sure whether they love you back or they, you get something back from this person, okay? Now let's, let's look at the energy of your person over the next 24 hours and let's see how we're going to merge you versus them. So your person is really quiet, okay? The hermit card, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, your person is wanting to take some time off. They are in their zone. They don't want to be disturbed. They are thinking. So it's possible that you have expressed something towards your person. For some of you, I pick up that you gave them a deadline. If you don't express them that this is the deadline, you have put an expectation or a deadline to your mind, okay, if he or she does not reply today, tomorrow, or this day, blah, 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 then I'm going to move on, okay? Darling, your person is in the hermit mode. When someone is in the hermit mode, it, 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 they normally take time, okay, to sit in here. This is hibernation. This is going inside the room and locking the room and do not disturb me, okay? So you might just create your own frustration because you're putting a timeline, you're putting a time frame, you're putting some sort of exp um, expiration or something to do with a deadline or a limit. When you deal with a hermit, this is something that it will take a bit of a time, okay? Give Next to the hermit card is the queen of cups. So they're probably upset, angry, or I don't know. I felt like when the king of cups in reverse, the emotion is not ready. The emotion is immature. The emotion is angry, impatient. The emotion is selfish, okay? So it is better that they stay in the hermit mode because they're trying to control this emotional insecurity, emotional immaturity, or this pain or angriness or impatient, okay? This is a good combination from your person. If they haven't come forward or if they speak, less or they're aloof it's because they're trying to control this bad energy or bad emotions they feel towards you or the relationship or the situation okay and then if you look at your card this is you this is you 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 are you when you offer something when you did something okay this knight of cups when you express when you pledge your love, when you did that message, when you communicated something with your person, for some of you, you're not sure whether you're going to get it back, okay? Your person, two of cups, they have accepted or acknowledged that. But right now, your person is really sad, okay? And um, in short, your person is not prepared to talk to you or to come forward to you or to connect with you in a love romantic way because they're sad. They will also be sad if you move on or if you, because I felt like in the past you have already, you know, eight of cups, you have walked away and then you return, you change your mind, you are connecting, something happened. Now, both of you are kind of at lost of where you are at each other in terms of feelings, affection and connection. So this is a time out, a call for a time out most especially with your person your energy is more on waiting 
And the negative energy that I pick up with you is that if you don't receive this, if your ex expectation is not met, you will walk away again or you would move on. You would go somewhere else. Your person, five of cups, they are, they will be sad if you do this or for some of you over the next 24 hours. Um, they miss you. They like you. You mean the world to them for some of you because two of cups. It's just that they're sad. They're upset that, that whatever, the, whatever challenges and blockages you have with you and your person, it makes them sad because these two cards, Capricorn, it's more on a, it's more of an upset energy. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm emotionally impatient. I'm jealous, blah, blah, blah. This is a negative card. But the love, the admiration, the feelings they have for you, it's getting stronger. That probably over the next 24 hours, they're sad. They miss you. And they will be even more sad if you walk away. So let them process this. And... This Six of Swords, it could be while you wait for them, because right now it's confusing for you. At your end, you know, you're kind of what? Am I waiting for what? This is you and them. You're looking at the same moon, but you aren't speaking term or the romantic situation, the romantic energy between the two of you, it's kind of low. Okay, so you, it's, it's a possible advice that over the next 24 hours, swords your mind your mental process put it somewhere productive okay because your person they need to process this negative or bad energy and then once this energy this negative energy that they love for you sorry that they feel towards you i think it's gonna have some improvement the more space you have with each other the more it gets improved because by the time you said something you you communicate something they already miss you and then the the following the next sort the next sort of energy and event i see between the two of you is that they miss you further but it's no longer in pain okay because this is sadness and sorrow that they've got a two of cups with you but you've got some i don't know meltdown or disconnection so they are processing the bad energy okay the bad the romantic bad energy between the two of you they're processing it and handling it i'd say well it's 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 about to it's about to be released so give your person that time to sit in the hermit process the negative energy the negative feelings and then the two of cups energy would be activated and this is them missing you okay because they're done with processing the negative feelings they have for you and now they miss you okay you are um you are kind of waiting in here. So instead of waiting and being frustrated, the swords in here, it could be a reminder to be productive. Put your mind and your thought into something something that's not love romantic, something that would take away from this person because it might take a bit of time. Okay? So this is you. This is your um, love connection message over the next 24 hours. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you soon again and have a great weekend. Bye.